Good morning, everybody. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. Um, I would like to give a small speech about what we see, what we see, and sometimes we don't evaluate at the beginning. But sometimes we have some disasters or many disasters in Tavi that we need to take care of. Um, we know that the Tavi has got a huge expansion towards the low risk and the younger population. And I think that during the next few years, we will absolutely see a shift and a higher percentage of cases with patients that we will retreat. We'll do Tavi in Tavi or Tavi in Valve. And I don't want to take more time over this. Coronary obstruction is one of the devastating complications of Tavi. And there is a huge amount of literature about that. But sometimes when we do the, the reports of Tavi and we start analyzing our cases, we don't take care of what will happen. Many times we had uh, implanting the valve, not necessarily in a previous valve, but we see that the patient collapses. And one of the things we do is orthography, and then we, we find that there are no coronary arteries, and we can all expect what will happen to the patient. So in valve and valve patients, a total of 2.3 patients had clinical evidence of coronary obstruction. Sometimes it's okay, but sometimes it gets worse. Coronary obstruction is more prominent in valve and valve cases, and we all know the, the risk factors for coronary artery obstructions post TAVI, which is, and it's not a lecture about the assessment, but we all know that there will be a valve implanted in the ostium, on the, on the annulus, and we can appreciate or virtually appreciate the distance between the virtual valve and the ostium of the coronary arteries. And we all know that whenever it's less than four millimeters, four is the golden number, when it's less than four millimeters, we have a risk for coronary obstruction as well as the height of the coronary ostia. Maybe the height of the coronary ostia we are all aware of, but the VTC, we need to take more attention on that. Coronary obstruction is a fatal situation where we got over 50% of mortality over 30 days whenever this complication happens. And the main concern is to, to, to disenable this from happening, to make some, uh, some precautions not only valve in valve cases, but also native valve cases, it could happen. We can see here a case of 76 year old man that got a sapien 29, and we see here the ostium of the coronary artery, which is low. There was a no normal implantation of sapien, but eventually the patient collapsed. And we see here that we had, oops, a coronary obstruction even in the case of non-valve-involved patients. This is a devastating case that we don't want to happen for us. We know that there are precautions to prevent this from happening, and if we want to take a deeper look, we can see that sometimes we get the previous valve pushed away towards the coronary sinus, and we get it occluding the ostium of the coronary sinus. This is the easiest way to see that happening. And uh, uh, we, we, we should anticipate that and prevent it from happening. So what can we do actually? There, is, there are some uh, ways to choose the prosthesis that we are uh, willing to use, as well as to do some modification. And the easiest way to do that may be a pre-installation or preparing a stent on the coronary artery distally and then implanting the prosthesis in its place while we will have the protection of the stent distally, and then simultaneous inflation of the balloon and sometimes the balloon expandable stent in order to prevent the occlusion of that happening. In those cases, we need to take precautions over the protamine later on, and sometimes this, is, this has some uh, drawbacks where technically we got the stent stuck and we cannot retrieve it back to, to its place, etc. So we all believe that we need a better way to do that. And maybe the better way is a dedicated uh, uh, method 
that was uh, um, like we hear all the time basilica. So let's take a look what basilica is. Basilica is an intentional tier of the previous valve just in front of the coronary ostium. In instead of having this type of problem, we will have this type of solution. We will have the ostium of the coronary artery sitting in front of a lacerated leaflet where a flow can be enabled. It has some steps in how to do that. Danny Dvir uh, did that in 2017. And maybe a small and short video of what Basilica is. Basilica is using electrified wire to perforate the leaflet of the valve, the previous valve, just in front of the coronary ostium, then snaring a wire back out, and then having like a horse uh, riding, and then pulling back while electrifying the wire, enabling the intentional laceration of the, uh, of the valve, enabling the flow in front of the coronary ostium. It has some drawbacks yet. It is very difficult to do in bi-leaflet modification. It's time consuming. It needs multiple steps and learning curve. It has, uh, um, it needs multiple access and it's a pretty expensive way to do things because the wires are, are very special wires. So we still need a way to make it easy. Um, there is a nice device that I would introduce here, which is called the shortcut device. Shortcut is the first dedicated device for coronary obstruction tackling and for laceration of the coronary artery. We see the ostium and we see the, the leaflet and we see the device with a landing gear, landing that would be located just in front of the coronary artery ostium. We need the, the device going down, uh, all the way down. Then we can confirm our place in front of the coronary artery knowing all the data from the CT. Then a splitting element, a small and little knife would be implanted or, or would go from the ventricular part and then a pulling back of the device would perform the laceration and solving the problem of the coronary artery occlusion. Again, this is the first dedicated and still research is happening now. And I will show you that it, ha it, it succeeded to do various types of valves in front of the coronary arteries. And I will show you another live case, which was the first Evolut valve to be splitted. We can appreciate the low ostium of the coronary arteries here. And as you can see, we can see the leaflet that we are sure that in case of in, in case of a, a implantation of another a valve, it will occlude the ostium of the coronary artery. Thus, we needed a solution for the two sides of, of the uh, uh, vasculature of the heart. So, I will show you here briefly how the device sits. And the device, this is the landing gear, it will go down all the way to the nadir of the cusp. Then, a splitting element, the knife would be uh, uh, ready to uh, engage and then by pulling back you can appreciate the, the device going back and then it will do the split. We, we succeeded to do it also at the, the, the other, uh, the right side and I will show you later on the valve just implanted in place. Here we can see a sapien in Evolut and we appreciate the coronary arteries are still patent, meaning that despite the huge risk of coronary artery obstruction, we succeeded to pre-treat this. We, 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 had the, um, a, we had published the first eight patients, 11 splittings of coronary arteries in Jack. We can see that we can appreciate the time that it took us six minutes, nine minutes, 11 minutes, 10 minutes. 11 and 10 minutes were for two leaflets, and uh, all patients were good. So I can show you here the, uh, all the coronaries that are still running, and we are very happy for that. This was uh, published in Jack Cardiovascular Intervention in 2023, and I'm sure that there will be a place for. Uh, awareness and for pre-treatment of coronary artery preparation and the, 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 the obstruction of coronary artery is something that we should see it only on CT and we don't need to see it on the cath lab anymore.
So again, I would just remind you of the VTC below four millimeters. It may be the golden number for us, low coronary ostia, and uh, we, sh we, we all should be uh, aware of this and prepare with the precautions and pre-treatments in, in order to disable this catastrophe from happening. Thank you very much.